Some people say that the adverts between the shows are sometimes better than the shows themselves. And in the case of this show, that's true. Sometimes ads can be beautiful, witty, sexy, cool. But some ads are just plain crap. And others are even worse. They are in fact so awful, they become awfully good. And it's those awfully good TV adverts that we'll be celebrating tonight. My most awfully good ad. How do I keep my hair so soft and silky? I wash it, obviously, with shampoo. But there are some other more unusual hair care products that are also available, like these. Now, I was once voted GQ magazine's most stylish man, but of course I realised not everyone can be a style icon like me. And as the clothes in my next selection of ads prove, you've either got it or you haven't. And they so very, very, very haven't. Today I'm business on top and party on the bottom. Trust me, you'll all be wearing it next week. I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. But whatever you do, don't show them these ads or they may never be the same again. Because we live in a global community, some products have to change their names. For example, Snickers used to be called Marathon. Starburst used to be called Opal Fruits. And, of course, Rice Krispies used to be called Titty Flakes. Not really, but Titty Flakes is much less offensive than anything this next bunch of ads came up with. and family were worried that spending every living hour with my dollies wasn't healthy and I would end up as a sexually confused adult. How wrong they were. Here's a selection of my favourite doll adverts. Super. Hmm. What's that baby twinkles? You thirsty? Here, have a drink. <laughs> Most dolls are lovely, like this little cutie here but others appear to be possessed by Satan. Channel 4 take no responsibility for any loss or damage to your soul or part thereof during the next clip. Listen to Renko. We all know sex sells, but personally, I think risque ads are disgusting, appealing to our baser instincts to make a cheap profit. It's demeaning, exploitative, and worst of all, it's an insult to the viewer's intelligence. Incidentally, did I tell you I've got a new book coming out? All good bookshops, just twelve ninety-nine. Hello. You're probably wondering why I'm dressed like a little girl. It's not because I enjoy it. I don't. I actually hate it. I'm dressed like this because the theme of our next set of adverts is children's toys. Welcome to... Here are some adverts featuring man's best friend. Not my best friend. He's called Nigel and works in IT. No, I'm talking about man's other best friend. Dogs! Oh, by the way, hi Nigel! Oh no, I'll be at work. <laughs> I don't know if you know, 
but apparently smoking is bad for you. Yet, according to the adverts of yesteryear, smoking makes you look like a real man, unless you're a woman. Then you look glamorous, unless you're a woman who looks like a man, in which case you're just confusing, but kind of sexy. Anyway, this is how cigarettes used to be appetised. Well, I'm sad to say that's it for tonight's show. But if you're lucky, the shops might still be open. So you can rush out and get that last minute can of poop freeze, a golf club you can pee into, or a bag of racist crisps. Good night. <laughs>